Master Sarde, what can I do for you? I've explored many ruins on this island, ruins that after careful scrutiny were built by the congregation. In one of them, we found a journal that made reference to your guild. This document, as are the buildings, date much further back than the arrival of the Bridge Alliance a decade ago. These discoveries raise a good many questions, questions that my cousin would like you to answer. I understand. All the same, we are in a difficult situation. We are bound by the pact. I could eventually overlook these engagements if you would perform a service. Commander Fernando, who holds the port of San Mateus, has problems with certain members of Teleme. But your friend here could without a doubt tell you more. I believe I see what the Admiral is speaking about. Or rather, who? A few of our zealous brothers are overcome by their faith. You already witnessed it for yourself at San Mateus. They look with a wary eye at all those who do not swear faith to Teleme, and refuse to express their faith openly. It is possible they have decided to target the Norts. We will need to speak with those on Teleme lands, and of course seek out the Bishop Domitius. Solve these problems, and I will reconsider the validity of the pact. I will answer your questions. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. Hello, sir. You are from the congregation, are you not? Indeed. De Sade. Your admiral has sent me here. Pleasure. You may call me Fernando. I am the port commander here. What might I do for you? Your admiral informed me that you've been having problems with a few citizens of Teleme. What more can you tell me? Problems, huh? We're up to our necks and sinking with problems. Yeah, 
I even received threats to my own person. One of those high and mighty long robes dared walk upon my docks with talk of burning me at the stake. Burning me? Then two of my men up and disappeared, and I do not believe in coincidence. I wanted to ask for help from the Mother Cardinal, but she did not answer my requests for an audience. The games of politics are not my forte, and investigations even less so. Find my men. I implore you. More questions? Thanks. I've got everything I need. Fernando and the Admiral are close. When she was captain, he was her chief mate. She trusts him completely. That's why she put him in charge of the management of the port of San Mateus. We should talk to some other sailors at the port. If some of their comrades have also disappeared, they may be able to give us some information. Your Excellency, we were eagerly awaiting your arrival. Sister Eugenia was just recounting me the tale of your achievements and telling me about the incredible discoveries you've made. These relics shed a new light on the last years of our founder. It all demonstrates that he hadn't evangelized the islanders, but on the contrary, he would even have adopted some of their rituals, merging the cult of the enlightened and the cult of nature in a single dogma. These discoveries, if they can be verified, are extraordinary. But they also represent a great upheaval that could harm our nation. We must first verify their authenticity. You are the only ones who entered this cave. Could what you have witnessed been a falsification? The cavern we discovered is located in a very remote place. There is no islander village nearby. It contains some ruined dwellings. But clearly, no one has lived there for a very long time. Fraudsters would inevitably have left traces of their passage, and we have not found any. The entrance to the cave was protected by one of those giant creatures that the natives call a Nardike. These guardians usually protect sacred places and let no one enter without a fight. I had to kill this beast, which leads me to think that nobody had entered the cave for a very long time. We discovered ancient frescoes on the walls of the cave. They represent Saint Matthias without a doubt. He is depicted with his chaplet. In one, he is praying for the divinity of the island. In the other, his face was being painted by a native. I understand how shocking these discoveries are, but their antiquity proves that they are genuine. The tablets found at the site, however, attest that our founder had not abandoned the cult of the enlightened. He simply saw it as two different reflections of the same divine power. The relics could be authentic, Your Excellency, but we only have your word to convince us. The political and religious impact of these discoveries will be unprecedented. We risk schism, civil war, and who is to say that this is not a plan to weaken us? Are you suggesting that I invented all this to weaken Teleme? May I remind you that you sent me to Eden to help with the research? Your memory plays tricks on you, Your Excellency. I sent you there to solve a case of theft, which you have resolved, and I thank you for it. But at no time did I ask you to participate in our research. Your Eminence, all of this is grotesque and dangerous. The congregation is clearly trying to ridicule us. 
Even if these frescoes are real and old, who's to say they represent reality? This is surely the naive vision that the islanders had of our founder, nothing more. Our duty is to bury all this in order to preserve our nation from the heretical beliefs of the savages. You were so eager to bury our discoveries that you were ready to bury us with them. A group of the Ordo Luminous attacked us while we prepared to come here. Really? Your Eminence, I assure you that I had no idea we would never harm a diplomat. It was probably the desperate action of an overly fervent group. <laughs> but, alas, it is a fair reflection of what will happen if these discoveries are made public. You are responsible for the members of the Ordo Luminous on this island, Domitius. I am counting on you to ensure that this kind of act never happens again. Your Eminence, we are faced with a crucial choice for our nation. What does a man of faith do in such a dilemma? He prays and places his trust in the one who came before him and has shown more wisdom. Saint Matthias shows us a new way. If we are believers, can we really turn our backs on him? You surprise me, Petrus. You who are always so political, yet your words seem sincere. You give me something to think about. Thank you. Does anyone wish to add anything? Keeping a secret of this magnitude will increase violence and suspicion among your ranks. Too many people are already aware of the truth, which will inevitably be revealed. And how will you be judged then? What you say sounds almost like a threat, Your Excellency. We are not prone to being intimidated. Thank you for your testimony. I will now retire to think about everything and make my decision. After much thought, I have decided it best to silence these dangerous discoveries. Our nation cannot risk civil war. But, Your Eminence, this research... Enough, my dear. I have made my decision. Your research must end immediately. I cannot keep the secret of what I discovered. The world must know. It would be a shame to hear that our most distinguished theologian was arrested for heresy, my dear. I... Very well, Your Eminence. Your Excellency, I cannot deny the importance of the help you have given us, and I am grateful for it. And I hope I can count on your discretion. It would be a shame for our relationship with the Congregation to suffer due to questionable allegations. Of course, Your Eminence. Do you want from me, my son? Sir de Sarde, emissary of the congregation. Ah, the congregation still has the uncanny gift of surprising us. I am Bishop Domitius. I represent the Ordo Luminous on the island. What can I do for you? I believe you have a few problems with the Norts who reside in the port. We have problems with all matter of heretics, my son. And of course, the pagan noughts would be among them. They are very secretive and have all sorts of strange rituals that they keep to themselves under cloak of mystery. The sorcery they employ to guide their ships is drawn from nature, just like the sorcery used by the natives. And to top it all off, and this is where it stings. We suspect them to be at the origin of the Malachor. Whatever do you mean? How? Have you ever once crossed paths with a nought suffering from the blood plague? Why are they spared? The only logical reason is that they are at its origin, calling upon various cursed rituals. It's as simple as day. 
I am certain that we will find clues of their rituals and their pagan idols in their stockhouses in the port. What a nest of absurdities. What other reaction would you expect from those responsible for the curse that afflicts us? Uh, very well. Let's just agree that these rumors need to be verified. Anything else? Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sardé, what can I do for you? I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. Good day. I'm looking for several sailors, some noughts that disappeared a few days ago. Sorry, that doesn't ring any bells. But I did hear talk like everyone else on the port, but that's all. You should ask the mage inquisitors who have taken up lodgings here of late. They must have certainly seen something. We see them everywhere, and they spend their time spying on all that moves, especially eyeing all that the noughts are up to. Ah, and what do these mage inquisitors look like? They wear a very peculiar symbol. We cannot question all the inquisitors roaming around the island. Especially considering what we've learned from Demetrius. They must be doing everything in their power to discover the Nort's secrets.
Good day, Desade. How can I help you? I met the representative of the Ordo Luminous, and he spoke of his fears concerning the Noughts. That hardly surprises me. That man is full of pride and arrogance, and sees evil wherever he gazes. And that bishop is not made of milk and kindness, but his questions are intriguing. He suspects you to be somehow responsible for the Malachor because you never fall prey to it. Responsible for the Malachor? <laughs> and how? Through your magic. Some sort of ritual. Do you use a magic very similar to that of the natives? I have nothing more to say about it. Those are merely the fantasies of a lunatic. More questions? Thanks. I've got everything I need. The commander will probably not tell us anything more about the Nort's secrets, but the documents at the Harbor Master's office may teach us something new, if we can stay discreet.
Good day. I'm looking for two men, Norts, that went missing a few days ago. Do you know anything about them? Why? As a matter of fact, I do. Three or four days ago, I was at the tavern having a conversation with a sailor, a nice fellow. He was telling these stories. He was drinking hard. He went outside for a moment to... You can imagine. And well, he never came back. He wasn't that drunk to have passed out. If it were that, we would have found him. No. Something happened to him. That's a fact. But I would be at a loss to tell you what. If one of the sailors disappeared as he came out of the tavern, that is where we should go. If we find Inquisitors there, they'll certainly know more than the ones we see here. We're approaching the tavern. If we want to eavesdrop in conversations, we should be discreet. You again. Why am I not surprised to see you implicated in this story of surveillance? I have no idea what you're talking about. A witness told me that you and others of your order seem to be spying on all comings and goings in the port. Two noughts were captured not long ago. You had to have seen something. You are mistaken, my son. You've been misinformed. You know I have Mother Cardinal's ear. Is she aware of your initiatives? I... I, I do not appreciate this attempt at intimidation. But very well. Since you insist, these noughts were arrested. We were forced to interrogate them to bring to light their pagan rituals. It wasn't a sanctioned arrest, was it? No. The Mother Cardinal is not aware. Not yet. But as soon as we have succeeded in making them talk and they have confessed their heresy, she... Of course. Where did you take them? The coin guard has... lent us their jails and some men. We do not normally like to call upon the services of these brutes, but... We have need of their skills and discretion. These Inquisitors really don't realize the consequences of their actions. We will have to proceed with caution.
A feast for the eyes, ladies and gentlemen. And it's free. Come and see me as soon as you have made your choice. You won't be disappointed. Of that, I can assure you. Come on. Halt! You have no authority to go any further. And if I gave you this, so that you might go and have a little fun? In that case, I could certainly look the other way for a while, but be discreet. Thank you. Thank you for getting us out of there. Those Inquisitors are completely mad. They tortured us. They wanted us to admit to all manner of horrors. Stories of some demonic cult and curses of Malachor. I was of the firm belief that they were going to kill us. But you must make haste. They are planning some sort of wickedness. They spoke of a great purification. And after that, they did this to us. It doesn't bode well, not at all. I heard them talking about their headquarters near the palace. Maybe you'll learn something there of interest. Thank you again for freeing us. We'll be able to make it back to port on our own. We need to discover what is behind this talk of purification before they can execute their plan. And we should probably find out more about this secret first. If we do not discover anything reprehensible, we will have an easier time convincing the Mother Cardinal to intervene.
This note speaks of a secret hangar. We should investigate, even though it's sure to be well guarded. That way, we'll know exactly what the Norts are hiding from us. I can assure you they're not hiding anything reprehensible. But if you absolutely want to check it out for yourself... I've already seen this type of engine in my uncle's court. It's used to spy upon the stars. These objects are called sextants. Looking at the heavens through them, we can determine and track precisely the course of our ships. Mm, nothing magic nor impure therein. They're nothing but measuring instruments. These machines are extremely complex. I've never seen anything like this. Oh. This one looks like it has a shouting dolphin etched into its side. I wouldn't begin to know how this one works. It's a new model, invented recently. It's designed to measure the depths of the oceans. It's extremely useful. And that? It looks like a thermometer. And this other machine? Does it really predict the weather? The second instrument is a barometer, and it does indeed predict where the weather is going to be. Nothing magic in it either, I can tell you that. These instruments are incredible and I would be hard pressed to use them. But I certainly see nothing magic in here. Nor anything diabolical. For as long as they work and are really used, these instruments seem to be the product of science. And I've definitely found nothing related to the Malachor, nor a secret sect or cult. This Domitius has let his imagination and the taste of naught secrets get the best of him. I don't think you realize the importance of what you have just seen. These instruments allow us to dominate the oceans and discover new worlds. Keeping this secret has enabled us to remain the only ones capable of navigating the high seas. Everyone just thinks you use a magic of your own. We were the ones that spread that rumor. It harms our reputation, but protects us from competition. And this story about the Malachor? I have no way to explain why we don't catch it, but we're not responsible for it. I truly hope you'll reveal nothing of what you've discovered in this place. Now our priority is to discover what this great purification is.
We must meet with the Mother Cardinal urgently. Only she can put an end to this madness. Yes. I would like to have an audience with the Mother Cardinal to discuss the discoveries made during our investigation. What is this about, Domitius? Well, I don't rightly know. You see, Eminence, Bishop Domitius has brought to my ears his order's accusations concerning the Norts. According to him, they practice a religion close to those of the natives and use a nature-drawn magic. They would also be implicated, therefore, in the appearance of the Malachor. That is an extremely serious accusation. Effectively, considering the accusation is founded on no proof other than the Nort's tradition of secrecy. But these suspicions have pushed the Order to extreme actions, risking the fragile peace of the island. The Ordo Luminous captured several Norts, locked them in jails rented to them by the Coin Guard. They were tortured with the singular goal of forcing them to admit heresy. They obtained nothing. If I had not intervened, these men would be dead. Is this true, Domitius? Some of our brothers undoubtedly misinterpreted the evil. I would have never allowed such a plan. These noughts are now united with their captain, and I am certain they would be most eager to bear testimony. Following up on the accusations of Bishop Domitius, I wanted to verify for myself what this was all about. I went to take a look at their storerooms and saw what they contained. And are you going to tell them? You know how vital this information is to us. Your secrets have already nearly cost the lives of your own men. It's time they were revealed. There were neither idols nor objects of any ritual nor even anything magical. And absolutely nothing that could be attributed to the origin of the Malachor. I found nothing but measuring instruments and diverse navigational machines. I caught wind of a ridiculous scheme planned for the port by the Ordo Luminous, and I wanted to clear it up. I was able to get my hand on documents that effectively detailed an attack, a great purification. They were signed by you, Father, and included a contract where you enlisted the assistance of the Coin Guard to attack every Nort building and make prisoner of every one of their men that could be taken alive. Domitius, how could you? Whatever did you want to accomplish? The Norts are not believers. We should not be dependent on heretics. Have you gone completely mad, Domitius? We are on an island. How could we not be dependent on the Norts? I want them arrested. Him and every member of his order. I will decide at a later time their fate. I thank you for bringing this business to my attention. Going after the Norts. What madness. Without you, this city would now be drowning in chaos.
carry my best wishes to your cousin. His desire to maintain the peace on the island honors his house's reputation. I will tell him, Your Eminence, until we meet again. Desarde, what can I do for you? I've settled the problem in San Mateus. Several of your men were imprisoned by the Ordo Luminous. The misguided brothers planned to attack the port. I had them arrested. They should no longer be a threat to you. The Order thought you to be heretics because of your tradition of secrecy. The secrets... They often cut both ways. Therefore, I'm gonna reveal to you another. We discovered this island nearly two centuries ago. A few decades later, we sold the discovery to your nation of merchants. Then, our closest allies, we transported some lords, men, and merchandise. They began to colonize the island. The lords revealed themselves to possess a tyrannical nature and began to exploit the lands with a deadly passion. Their actions provoked a revolt of the natives, but also the very workers and craftsmen they had brought with them. The magic of the natives of Tirfredi was awoken. Beasts came out of the woods and destroyed the new cities. Only a handful of lords and armed men were able to make it back to our ships. The losses were enormous. The humiliation, devastating. Your princes paid us well to keep their secret. They continued to make the occasional expedition. You are, in fact, a product of one of them. What are you saying? You must have had your doubts. You are the child of a native. You were born on one of our ships. The child of an islander? But I know who my mother is, and... I understand how difficult this is to hear. And I wouldn't know why your family has kept this from you all this time. In the end, 
We decided to sell the secret location of the island to other nations. The congregation, in spite of its fears, could not keep away. And here you are again. I am sorry for the shock I have caused you. You asked me for the truth, and now you have it. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. I can't believe that for all this time I've been fed lies. They're constant in no. I must. I must go and see him. My child. I understand that this revelation is upsetting. I. I wish I had the right words to comfort you. In any case, you do not have to be ashamed of your ancestry. This Come island closer, is the very people. core of the all our fates. Cousin! You couldn't pick a better time. I've been taken with jitters like a cat on a midday roof. <laughs> what are you waiting for with such anticipation? I took your advice, you see? I've summoned one of these crows! He has been examining me for nearly an hour. I just barely escaped a purge. But I was given the mandatory bleeding. I so hate their little knives. And so then, our venerable doctor, what is the verdict? Black. <sighs> Constantine, is this your blood? Constantine, answer me. Constantine, stay with me. Constantine, there is a chance that he is in error. It might be something else. I'm going to die. No, no, Constantine. I will die, like your mother and the others on the continent. I I'm dying. I don't want to die. I don't. No, no, not so soon. It's so good. Cousin, I... I don't Constantine, want... I'm here. Pull yourself together. Out. Everyone out. It's in order. Thank you, cousin. There now. Are you better? I don't know. You won't leave me, will you? I'm going to find a cure, I promise you. Didn't you promise the same thing to your mother? You know I'll be dead before you find one. Don't say that. I will succeed. I've already some promising trails to explore. I don't know, cousin. The tidings are so awfully dire. I'm afraid. <laughs> so afraid. I doubt the reason for your visit was to console me in my tragedy. Tell me, what brings you here? It can wait. It's nothing that can't be dealt with later. But please, please, whatever it is, it will take my mind elsewhere. I was able to get the whole story out of the Admiral in exchange for a service. As our investigation was leading us to imagine, the congregation did once attempt to colonize the island. The Norts discovered it some two centuries ago and brought our people here a few decades later. But the enterprise to colonize the island failed completely. There were a great many bloody battles. Few colonists survived. The princes preferred to hide their defeat and paid the noughts to keep the secret. That they hid the fiasco from the world, I get. But that my father said nothing about it to me. That's not the most shocking part of the story, believe me. What do you mean? The congregation continued to make expeditions to the island with the help of the Noughts. According to the Admiral, my mother came from the island and was brought back. I was born on one of their ships. What? But... That means you are not your dear cousin? No. All the lies we've been fed since our tender childhood. The fable told that I'm the spitting image of my dead father lost during an expedition. God, I... 
I don't know what to think, Constantine. Why did they do that to me? I don't know. It's another one of their sly and dark orchestrations. Some vile intrigue. If it is of some comfort, no matter the true story, you will always be my dear cousin. You have always been the only one to care for me. You are my only friend. That's all that matters to me. Keep this discovery between us. No one needs to know. My aunt adopted you after all. Bring in the others. Let us speak of different concerns. That's enough bad news for one day. Kurt, what is... Dismissed, soldiers. Leave us. We have much to say. What is going on? I don't appreciate this attitude, Kurt. Must I remind you that these men all answer to me? Times change, your highness. Or rather, they're about to do so. Is that a threat? What are you hoping to accomplish? Don't tell Silence. We have little time and none to lose. Kurt, what are you talking about? The commander of the Coin Guard is here in New Serene at this very moment. He's preparing a coup d'etat. In the three cities of the island, our men are going to eliminate the governors and their entourage. This is madness. How? How? You'll go down as easy as plum pie and cherry wine. Standing behind every one of you is one of our men. You have entrusted us with your security. You are completely at our mercy. Then why did you send your men away? And why are you telling us all of this? I've known you both for a very long time. Too long. I've come to know you. To respect you. And I've never reneged on a contract. These orders go against all that I am. A cold-hearted mercenary, definitely, but never a traitor. And so now you are forewarned. You must take action. Thank you, Kurt. I will not forget this. Constantine, we need to get you to safety as well as your counselors. But I want to... What? Take part? You can barely stand up. No, we must take you into the cellar. If I've completely understood what you've said, Kurt, the governors of our cities are also in danger. Yes. If you want to keep your allies, Your Highness, you also need to warn them. Correct. We cannot let them fall into the hands of these traitors. I will find the means to send them a messenger. Do you know where to find your conspirators? It would seem I should be one of them. They are counting on me to eliminate both of you. The most urgent matter is to get our hands on the commander and his three lieutenants. The others are doing nothing but following orders. If we cut off the heads, they will fall into rank. <gasps> I always knew you were a good man. Don't make me change my mind. We'd better be off. Now. We'll certainly have to fight some traitors at Torsten's behest on our way to the cellar. Stay on your guard. Stay behind us, Constantine. You're in no condition to fight. We must also think about the advisors, including your professor. And then we have to rescue Lady Morange. We must hurry before the guard can act. <laughs> 